welcome back to another match day vlog today. Home to Spartak Moscow, uh, third game of the match day of uh, the, the Europa League, sorry. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping for a good one. Spartak Moscow obviously just sacked their manager and they've apparently left seven players over in Russia because they're focused on the league. So I might be a bit overconfident, but I'm going for a 3 0 Rangers. 3 0. I think we can get it done. Beat Rapid Vienna 3 1. They beat Spartak Moscow 2 0. I think we can beat Spartak Moscow 3 0. I think we can do it. If we play well, then I think we can do it. Spart starting 11, Jack in for Arfield. It's the same as lineup again from against the Vienna game. Uh, except Ryan Jack is in. There's your Republican music. I better get into the stadium. We're going to the Rangers. 3 0. Let's go. Any weapon on corner, Jesus. I mean, you know, was a bit optimistic. I'd be happy with the one, but uh, I have been moving poor. There's certain aspects of being poor. Tav's delivery has been shocking. The referees don't be getting he's not giving us a one handball out of like five. He's giving them all the soft free kicks, he's not giving us any. Don't want to blame the ref, but our performance could be better, but the ref's performance could also be better. Um, Spartak haven't really done anything to threaten us. Just a few corners and that. We haven't really had done, done much either. But uh, we need to improve. Saying that, kind of like the Vienna game. We need to improve. We always do the first half.
on. Alright lads, post match and I'm just back from the game, it's like uh, 12 o'clock. So just got back from the game there and I do want to say uh, a shout out to the guys at half time uh, that were behind me. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, then shout out to the guy in the Wee Rangers club uh, before the match who did actually come up and recognise me, like talk to me. He said he recognised me from these logs. So that, that, that's great to, to actually have. That's the first ever person to actually recognise me from uh, my videos. That was uh, something different and it was quite cool. Uh, so shout out to you. I didn't actually get your name, but. Uh, if you're watching, then big up. Uh, then also, I do want to say in the 18th minute, there was a minute clap for Murray Harkness. Um, it was from Cumnock, uh, and he did actually take his own life. Uh, I didn't know him personally, but I do know him because I played football against him a few times. Uh, so it was quite, quite sad to hear about it. Um, it was quite nice that. I'd say the majority of Ibrox were clapping. Um, if fans didn't know what it was, they at least caught on to it. But uh, it's, it's quite sad. I don't know what else to say, but uh, I hope his family's holding up well. Because he was just the same age as me, like 17 or 18. Uh, so, you know, someone take his own life like that. It uh, must be a real shock. And, Really, really sad, um, but we got on with my match reaction. So post-match reaction, uh, poor from half of the team. <laughs> anyway, it started from McGregor and Nets, done alright, but his kicking was poor. Tav right back, poor. Defensively it was alright, but offensively, oh my god, I've never seen Tav actually so poor in attack. His corners were so bad, is just, just everything about his play going forward was just poor. Uh, Goldson was dodgy at some times, Warrell was solid, Flanagan was just, he just wasn't good. Didn't rate Flanagan the night. Kent, I'd say, was probably out of the midfield and attack, was probably the best. Uh, I thought he was taking players on, obviously, sometimes it didn't work, but. Uh, he did, he, when it was a chance, it was most likely him that was involved. Uh, three centre mids, I'd say Jaria played the best. Kula Bali, uh, done alright. Jack, I thought, disappointed a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. It's a bit hard to see, because uh, I'm behind, right behind the net in the Copeland, so it's a bit hard to see, because if you're watching it on telly, you'd have a better view, obviously. Um, so, right mid, Candace, sometimes a bit quiet. I didn't really get into the game too much, kept on giving away silly little fouls. Uh, up front, Morelos. It's a tough one to call me, Morelos. he done reasonably well without doing too much. But, anyway, uh, Middleton I thought was poor when he, he couldn't control the ball. Couldn't, could not control the ball when he came on. Gresda could have won the game for us like a couple of times. I don't know if he's just not match fit or what, but he didn't seem the sharpest when he came on. But, uh, what can you do? No, no. Five points out of nine. It's alright. I'm sure a lot of Jairs would have taken that uh, before like before match day one. But, you know, so uh, we're second in the group. It still, it still looks alright for us. Uh, we just need to beat Moscow in the away leg, which will be tough. And... Hope for the best. But yeah, on to Sunday now, the League Cup semi-final. Uh, I'll miss it, unfortunately. And uh, I think I'm going to the Kilmarnock game though, so that's at least something else. That's another match, match vlog uh, for you next week. I do want to say thank you very much for the support in the, on the Vienna vlog. That was insane. Like That's my most viewed video uh, on my channel ever. Uh, 16,500 views, so that's, that's really good uh, well, for me. Uh, like 350 likes, something like that. So uh, in the comments were all really good apart from a few negative ones, but I don't care about that. In fact, also uh, that Twitter post, if any don't know about the Twitter post, I'm not going to spread negativity in the last few seconds of the video, but it was quite funny. Uh, anyway, if we could get 
50 likes in this video. Let's go for 50 likes and I'll be brilliant. So yeah, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.